हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग कैप जीवन ऑन कैंपस और ऑफ कैंपस ड्राइव नो मैटर व्हाट व्हाट एवर इट इज फ्रॉम व्हाट एवर कैंपस यू आर इट डजंट मैटर बट द पैटर्न द क्वेश्चंस विल बी ऑलमोस्ट सेम सो टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस व्हिच कैन बी आस्क्ड टू यू एंड द सेम यू कैन जस्ट गेस व्हाट इज द डिफिकल्टी लेवल व्हाट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस दे आर आस्किंग इन दिस डेज ओके एंड यू मस्ट हैव क्वेश्चंस लाइक व्हाट टाइप ऑफ पैटर्न दे विल गिव इन दिस ड्राइव एंड हु विल बी कंडक्टिंग द एग्जाम लेट मी टेल यू एवरीथिंग इन दिस वीडियो ओके जस्ट बिफोर दैट गाइस वन रिक्वेस्ट please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and let me know whatever you want okay okay so let me start from the pattern that is you must know that for on campus also they will be following the same pattern like essay writing or oh, at first you have already given the esvar assessment i hope then you will be having essay writing questions you will be having then a uh, game based aptitude with it fundamental questions plus pseudo code okay there will be 25 pseudo code questions 15 it fundamental questions and then game based aptitude after that you will be having the technical i mean the coding round in coding round they will be having two coding questions one will be easy second one will be medium uh, difficulty levels okay and not hard okay and let me discuss what type of questions they will ask and you must know that earlier hair pro was conducting the exam for capgemini let's see who is going to conduct the exam this year and i hope metal browser could be possibly possible options and they can hire for this year but still i'm hoping uh, hair pro will hire for this year hair pro will conduct the exam for capgemini okay let me share the coding questions which they have asked that is this so actually this was asked last year on september on campus and this is the second question that means this is the hard question like comparatively hard than the first question but not hard this is medium or easy you can say so question is sorry you are given an integer n find and print the sum of all the divisors starting from 1 okay sum lies within the integer range the input format is given below like the line contains a single integer n and the output will be a single integer that is the sum of all divisors starting from 1 let me just start with the sample input that is let's say 6 is the sample input then how we are getting the output let me discuss those 12 is the output and for 12 if the if it is sample input then output is 28 how it is coming let me discuss that okay so let's say if this is the sample input then output is 12 why because divisor of 6 are 1 2 3 4 and the and 6 itself okay 1 6 2 3 not 4 okay not 4 sorry so what is the total uh, sum 6 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 So six three nine two eleven plus one that is twelve. So that's why output is twelve. Let me share the second sample input. That is, if sample input is twelve, then output will be twenty eight. Why? So one is the divisor, two is the divisor, three is divisor, four is divisor, six is divisor, ten twelve is itself a divisor. So one twelve two six three four they are all divisor of twelve. So if I just now add all this number 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 12 it will become 28 i hope you understood so this way you have to uh, like this is the task you have to solve now what will be our approach to the solutions as you can see for 12 for 12 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 these are all number which will be uh, which are the divisors of 12 now just know one concept that is if 1 is the divisor by which we multiply to get 12 with 12 okay 2 6 that 12 3 4 that 12 so 2 is sorry 6 is complementary divisor for 12 uh, if i divide by 2 okay so you have to just know this term complementary divisor okay 
so now how to solve what to approach what are the approach i'll be sharing the solution in java and python both just before that guys i want you to have the prime materials of capgemini you can see this is five star rated materials people are giving uh five star and loving so much you can have all the things you need to prepare for capgemini like it fundamental questions pseudo code coding questions essay writing mock test game based aptitude and this is prepared for 2025 to 2026 batch only and also you can see these uh, these are the feedback of students uh, they are giving so you can see uh, i have just paused for a while for you so these are the feedback students are giving so please go through topmain.io slash techno underscore uf you can find the link in the description box or in the comment section it will be pinned there okay and if you need any assistant any help then you can damn me at my handle instagram.com slash techno dot uf there i can assist you okay now let me discuss the uh, code at first let me start from the python okay so you should start from the main right okay so at first we have just called the main function and in main only we have written full logic and in case of you where you have to write the code in the compiler there will be always uh, the main function will be written differently okay and there the input input format and the print statement also will be there inside the main method and you have to write the logic inside another function okay i hope you understood now if uh so they have called the main function right so this should be implemented now at first as soon as it is triggered it is called then it will take the input from the user n is equal to in int input dot strip so it will remove all the spaces be, uh, at the beginning at the end and it will convert to the integer okay and then we are initializing the total is equal to zero or the sum is equal to zero to store the sum okay and as they have told we can start the divisor from one so that's why we'll initialize i is equal to one now while i square less than equal to n that means we are checking up to root n value why up to root n value because this will minimize the time complexity okay in case of prime number if i ask you to find prime number then you can use the for loop up to i less than equal to n okay but i less than n you can find the element up to i less than n but if i ask you to optimize the code you can write this code this way i less than equal to root n okay so this way we can optimize the code and get a better time complexity okay so that's why we are checking while i square less than equal to n that means i less than equal to root n if so then we are checking at first if the number is divisible by i that means let's say the 6 is the sample input okay n is equal to 6 at first i is equal to 1 so it is at first true okay it is true now here it is checking 6 mod i is equal to, is equal to 0 yes if i divide 6 by 1 then remainder will be 0 so it will be executed total plus is equal to i total was 0 so total is equal to total plus i so total was 0 plus 1 so it will become 1 total will become 1 now it will checking it will be checking the complementary uh, divisor that means if i if i divide by 1 then multiply by 6 will be 6 right so this is the complementary divisor so we should also get this at once so we will not check all the divisor at each iteration in the same iteration we will check two divisors at a moment okay at the same iteration so if i not equal to n by by i i is 1 so 1 not equal to n by i n is 6 i is 1 so 6 by 1 is 6 it is obviously not equal so we'll again add this divisor we have to add all the divisors right so that's why here we are adding these divisors as well in the same iteration so total plus is equal to n by i that is 6 okay okay now to go to the next iteration we will increase the value of i plus 1 and again this will be uh, 2 into 2 4 so 4 is less than or equal to 6 or not yes so it will jump inside the if uh, while loop and if n mod i 
so 6 mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 yes if we divide by if we divide 6 by 2 then it remainder will be 0 so it will be true now total plus is equal to i uh, we have to add that so total was I, 1 now total is, is equal to total plus this value that means the i so i is 2 plus 1 that is 3 okay so it will become 3 and again it will check if i that means 2 not equal to n by i n by i means 6 by 2 yes it is not equal to 2 is equal to 3 so it is not equal to not equal to 3 so again the total will be added okay sorry here total was actually 6 plus 1 now 2 added okay because here total already added this 6 was added now 2 was added here when the program flow comes here then the total will be total will be 6 plus 2 plus 1 that is 3 plus 1 sorry uh, 9 9 plus 3 it will be 12 now so in the same iteration it, it will check for the divisor and the complementary divisor the first iteration in the second iteration the both will be added so you can see all of these are added in the next iteration the i value will be increased so it will not be true so 3 into 3 that is 9 9 is not less than equal to 6 so it will not execute okay now print the total value that is 12 so it will be printed that value so let me just print that value mm, mm, mm. for 6 it will be 12 as you can see as expected and for 12 the output should be 828 and as expected so guys i hope you want to if you still have any question in your mind then please let me know in the comment section i'll try to assist you and if you need to talk with me if you need to chat with me then please join our telegram channel t.mr.subicana there we can assist you and various people are talking and uh, like discussing about their on campus off campus please join t.mr.subicana in telegram group you will get to know about the whole process the questions and the recent drives uh, information as well okay now we can start with the java solutions so the same way we have uh, like written the code so at first we are getting the user input scanner we are initializing the scanner object then we are uh, just taking the first input that is the integer value and then the sum we are initializing as equal to zero and the first divisor one okay again the, like the same way we have done in python i square less than equal to n as i have told because of time complexity we have taken this way and at the at the first it will check if the number n is divisible by one or not if it is so if it is divisible by two or not if it is divisible by three or not if this so then it will be adding with the sum the i value will be increased like i i will be added with the sum variable okay and again it will add the complementary divisor as well in the same iteration i hope you understood so this way we are actually uh, reducing the time complexity uh, so that the code will be more optimized so let me just run this code guys for you and let me show if it is running okay oh, it is running finally or not for 6 it should be 12 and for 12 it should be 28 guys if you want me to upload any other content sorry it should be 12 if you want me to upload any other content then please let me know in the comment section i'll give importance to your comment okay so i hope you understood guys again i'm requesting you to have the prime materials of capgemini or any company that you want like in these days cognizant capgemini pwc and also delta x virtusa and also uh lti mind is going to hire in the next month that means on september okay so please go through these materials this will be very much helpful also accenture is going to hire next month please go through these because of these materials many people are getting job so you can get the full materials including the interview materials please go through the link given in the description box you will get it thank you